Newt Gingrich says that President Obama is a weirdo. He says he's weird. And maybe what we ought to do at Newt.org is we ought to get t-shirts <laughs> that say you choose. Oh, yeah, Newt, yeah. drill here, drill now, pay less. Barack Obama, have algae, pay more, be weird. For Newt Gingrich to call somebody else in politics weird, it's like watching a python digest itself. It's, it's inside out. It's not possible. By the end of my second term. <laughs> we will have the first permanent base on the moon, and it will be American. But Mr. Moonbase has now pivoted to make his presidential campaign all about energy. And his line is that the president is a weirdo on energy. This is kind of a Republican thing now. But I think the American people realize that a president who's out there talking about algae, algae, when we're having to choose between whether to buy groceries or fill up the tank, is the one who is out of touch. This guy is so out of his league, and they just throw out there, I'm looking at algae, isn't it? It's, it's, it's badly absurd. In, in a sane world, this guy would be laughed out of office, not voted out. What those Republicans and the talk show hosts there uh, find so hilarious is a speech last week where the president talked about how high gas prices are uh, and his overall energy approach. Last week, the lead story in one uh, newspaper said, gasoline prices are on the rise and Republicans are licking their chops. <laughs> that's, that's a quote, that was the lead. Licking their chops. Only in politics do people root for bad news. Do they greet bad news so enthusiastically? You pay more, they're licking their chops. And you can bet that since it's an election year, they're already dusting off their three-point plan for $2 gas. And I'll save you the suspense. Step one is to drill, and step two is to drill. And then step three is to keep drilling. Drill, baby, drill. Nothing brings back the 2008 campaign like drill, baby, drill, right? Republicans totally thought they were going to win the presidency in 2008 with drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, drill? <laughs> drill, baby, drill. Because energy produced in America is security for America. And it is jobs for American workers, jobs that can't be outsourced. Let's drill, baby, drill, not stall, baby, stall. Let me make it very clear. Drill, baby, drill, and drill now. We will safely drill for the billions of barrels of oil that we have underground, including safely developing offshore resources. We'll drill here and we'll drill now. Now you can chant. Drill, baby, drill. Republicans definitely thought that John McCain and Sarah Palin would beat Barack Obama and Joe Biden with the drill, baby, drill message four years ago. And this year, they think they can win with that message, too. And so you've got uh, Rick Santorum brandishing an oily rock during his concession speech after losing Michigan and Arizona. Uh, you've got Mitt Romney today saying the president, President Obama, is doing all he can to stop oil production in this country. This is a president who's not been helping this situation. And, and, then, and then he takes his EPA and uses them to try and stifle the, de the development of oil and gas in this country. In a classic case of Mitt Romney's bad timing, uh, he tried out that allegation today on a day when the news headlines on this subject all looked like this. U.S. was net oil product exporter for the first time since 1949. We are exporting oil now. We are exporting more than we import. Also up with Chris Hayes provided this handy chart this past weekend about U.S. oil production under Presidents Bush and Obama so far. Remember, the Republican line here is that President Obama won't let there be any oil production in the U.S. That's the line. They also find all this algae business hysterical, that any administration's policy would involve anything other than oil. If we're going to avoid high gas prices every single year, with a lot of politicians talking every single year but nothing happening, if we're going to avoid that, then we've got to have an all-of-the-above strategy that develops every single source of American energy. Not just oil and gas, but also wind and solar and biofuels. 
biofuels. That's what the Republicans say is hysterical. That's what Newt Gingrich says is weird. And that means something coming from Newt Gingrich. Algae, right? Biofuels, biomass. This stuff is just crazy. No Republican would ever support anything so dumb. John and I will adopt the all of the above approach to meet America's great energy challenges. Those hundreds of billions of dollars being recirculated here in America, that means harnessing alternative sources like the wind and the solar and the biomass and the geothermal. The Sarah Palin, John McCain energy policy, the algae as fuel idea that has had Republicans like Mike Pence and Daryl Issa and Senator Mike Johans requesting Department of Energy grants to research algae as fuel. In an election year, that's got to be all crazy Democratic nonsense. Drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, drill.